Choosing to open up about your pains unfortunately often exposes you to the risk of becoming a target for individuals who, instead of offering support, seek to intensify the suffering. This sad reality has its roots in feelings such as jealousy or the sadistic desire to witness others' misfortune. Such behaviors can manifest in various scenarios, permeating the workplace, friendships, and even within the family nucleus. However, in the face of this adversity, there is an alternative that can lead to a more resilient path. Choosing not to expose your emotional wounds paradoxically can strengthen you. Picture yourself as a tree facing a relentless storm. While the leaves and branches may sway frantically, the trunk remains firm, rooted in the soil. This phenomenon is known as silent resilience, an admirable quality that can be cultivated and enhanced over time. Developing silent resilience involves learning to endure emotional storms without necessarily sharing them with the world. This does not mean completely silencing emotional expression, but rather discerningly choosing whom to confide in regarding these innermost feelings. In doing so, you preserve your inner peace, strengthen your ability to face challenges, and maintain a sense of autonomy over your emotional narrative. This approach can be particularly effective in the workplace, where competitive dynamics and complex interactions can amplify the consequences of revealing vulnerabilities. By adopting silent resilience, you position yourself as a beacon of stability, capable of facing adversities without losing authenticity. Furthermore, it is essential to recognize that silent resilience does not imply complete denial of emotions, but rather careful and strategic management of them. Seeking professional support such as therapy can be a valuable tool for processing these emotions internally, further strengthening your emotional capacities. Therefore, by choosing the path of silent resilience, you not only preserve your emotional integrity, but also build a solid foundation to face the challenges life may present, demonstrating an inner strength that inspires respect and admiration. The analogy of the tree not only illustrates the ability to withstand adversities, but also emphasizes the importance of remaining solid in the face of life's challenges. Silent resilience is not about suppressing emotions, but choosing when and how to share them, ensuring that your vulnerability is exposed only to those who truly deserve your trust. By adopting this approach, you not only put yourself in control, but also preserve your inner strength, avoiding negative impacts from the obstacles life presents. During this process, developing the ability to discern between those who genuinely wish you well and those who delight in your suffering becomes a valuable skill. This discernment allows facing adversity with dignity and perseverance, much like the tree that even in the storm remains majestic and unshaken. Pretending that you don't care is not simply ignoring problems, it is a strategy to prevent these challenges from controlling your life. This approach involves staying strong, calm and in control, even when chaos seems to dominate the environment around you. However, it's worth noting that this attitude does not mean denying the existence of problems, but rather adopting a proactive stance towards them. By cultivating silent resilience, you become a master in the art of facing adversity with a balanced mindset. This involves not only dealing with difficult situations, but also learning from them and growing as an individual. Just like a tree that by resisting storms strengthens its roots, you can turn challenges into opportunities for self-discovery and self-transformation. Moreover, by strategically choosing when to reveal your emotions, you build deeper and more authentic relationships with those around you. Trust placed in genuinely supportive individuals becomes a source of genuine support, further strengthening your ability to navigate the ups and downs of life's journey. In this way, silent resilience not only translates into an attitude of apparent indifference, but also into an active process of emotional empowerment. By incorporating this approach, you not only navigate storms with serenity, but emerge stronger, wiser, and more connected to yourself and those who share your journey. In the following video, we will embark on a deep journey, meticulously exploring 20 fundamental principles of the teachings of Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher whose wisdom transcends centuries, remaining incredibly relevant today. By delving into these lessons, we will seek not only to understand but also to internalize Epictetus's insights, applying his philosophy to the complexity of modern life. Epictetus, highlighting that we cannot choose our external circumstances, invites us to reflect on the vital importance of our innate ability to choose how to respond to these circumstances. 
This premise resonates as an invitation to the practice of self-knowledge, deep understanding of our reactions, and awareness of how we shape our reality through these choices. The central lesson of these teachings lies in the art of cultivating a response characterized by strength and calmness, regardless of the challenges life presents. It is a call to build a resilient mindset that, instead of allowing adversity to determine our fate, empowers us to actively forge the course of our lives. Furthermore, we can explore the practical application of these principles in the current context, identifying everyday situations where Epictetus's stoic philosophy can serve as a valuable guide. By understanding how to respond with serenity and determination in the face of life's inevitable twists and turns, we establish a solid foundation for personal flourishing and the pursuit of higher goals. In this way, by unraveling these principles, we not only embrace Epictetus's legacy, but also build bridges between his philosophy and contemporary challenges. In doing so, we elevate not only our philosophical understanding, but also our ability to apply timeless wisdom in the pursuit of a fuller and more meaningful life. In this context, it is imperative to reflect on the words of Epictetus and embrace the wisdom of consciously choosing our response to the various circumstances that life presents. In the next few minutes of this video, we will delve deeper into valuable life lessons, distancing ourselves from everyday distractions to cultivate a more profound and meaningful understanding of the world around us. Epictetus, the wise philosopher whose teachings are timeless, emphasized the fundamental importance of listening more than speaking. He understood that true wisdom emerges from the ability to absorb insights from others rather than merely repeating our own words. In this sense, the act of listening becomes a gateway to expanding knowledge and enriching the experience of life. As wisely observed by Stephen R. Covey, many people listen not with the intent to understand, but with the intent to respond. Epictetus's philosophy invites us to make a conscious effort to truly listen to what others are communicating. In a world that often values impulsive speech, the practice of attentive listening proves to be a powerful tool for personal development and the acquisition of wisdom. Thus, as we follow in the footsteps of Epictetus, we will embark on a deeper exploration of these fundamental life lessons. We will examine how the practice of active listening can not only enrich our everyday interactions, but also enhance our empathy, build deeper relationships, and nurture an environment conducive to personal and collective growth. In doing so, we will not only comprehend Epictetus's philosophy, but also integrate his timeless principles into our daily lives. The wisdom contained in the maxim, don't just plan your response, expect the worst, resonates significantly in the realm of anxiety, an emotion often fueled by the anticipation of negative events we believe are lurking in the future. This constant state of alertness to potential challenges can generate a varied range of anxieties, from concern about children's academic performance to the fear of losing a job, the apprehension of infidelity in marriage, and even the dread of financial failure. These daily fears, by occupying a prominent space in our thoughts, can obscure the joys and positive aspects of existence, leading to a constant state of worry and stress. It is in this context that the words of philosopher Epictetus prove particularly insightful. Epictetus, the wise philosopher, proposes a unique and effective approach to dealing with anxiety. His suggestion to imagine that everything we fear has already happened is an invitation to mentally confront the worst-case scenarios. By visualizing and reflecting on these feared situations, we are challenged to consider what could be worse. This reflection not only puts our fears into perspective, but also stimulates the mind to create strategies to deal with these adversities and move forward, preserving dignity and inner strength. After all, by directly facing our fears, we develop significant resilience and the ability to overcome adversities. The practice of mentally confronting the worst-case scenarios not only prepares us for negative eventualities, but also empowers us to embrace uncertainty with a more balanced and calm mindset. By internalizing this approach, we become architects of our own mental strength, strengthening our power to face challenges with confidence and determination. Therefore, by adopting Epictetus's philosophy, we not only acknowledge anxiety, but also transcend it, turning it into an opportunity for personal growth. By confronting imagined fears, we find not only answers to problems, but also a clearer insight into our own inner resilience. Furthermore, Epictetus's wise words encourage us not only to tolerate, but to embrace failure as a means of growth. 
failure, often approached with apprehension and avoidance, is in fact a valuable teacher. Each setback represents a disguised learning opportunity, a step toward personal improvement and lasting success. This perspective aligns with the inspiring words of Thomas Edison, whose affirmative vision resonates at the core of this understanding. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Embracing each failure as an intrinsic part of the journey is crucial for personal development and the achievement of ambitious goals. Thus, by accepting failure as an inevitable part of the journey, we are more likely to transform challenges into opportunities for growth and overcoming. Another crucial aspect that Epictetus invites us to ponder is related to wealth. He warns us to be cautious about this double-edged sword because while wealth brings comfort and conveniences, it can also be fertile ground for the germination of greed and corruption. This reflection resonates significantly in Socrates' memorable words, contentment is natural wealth, luxury is artificial poverty. This powerful observation highlights the importance of valuing character above the mere accumulation of material possessions. It reminds us that true wealth lies in inner satisfaction and meaningful relationships, offering a timeless perspective on essential values that transcend the superficialities of the material world. In this way, by integrating these teachings into our journey, we not only adopt a resilient mindset in the face of failure, but also cultivate a balanced appreciation for wealth. By understanding that true success is intrinsically linked to personal growth and inner wealth, we shape our life path more consciously, aspiring not only to material prosperity, but to genuine and meaningful fulfillment. Moreover, by embracing Epicurean philosophy, we realize the urgency and relevance of diversifying our dreams and aspirations, conceiving a broader and more satisfying existence. The practice of concentrating all hopes on a single goal can be risky, as the achievement of that goal may be uncertain and subject to uncontrollable variables. In this sense, it is advised to distribute our desires and goals in different areas of life, seeking not only a broader range of achievements, but also a more complete and lasting sense of satisfaction. The mantra to follow here is not to anchor happiness exclusively to a single goal, but to explore diverse sources of fulfillment. This approach not only expands the scope of our accomplishments, but also contributes to a more balanced and rewarding life, providing a wealth of experiences and successes that enrich our overall well-being. Simultaneously, it is essential to keep alive in our minds the inevitability of death, as emphasized by the Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius. The acute awareness of our finitude is not just a philosophical contemplation, but a powerful tool to help us prioritize the truly meaningful aspects of life. Marcus Aurelius's wise guidance, you could leave life right now, let that determine what you do, say and think, echoes as a constant reminder of the ephemeral nature of our existence. This awareness urges us to live each day with maximum intensity, as if it were the last, providing not only a sense of urgency to our actions, but also highlighting the fundamental importance of cultivating authentic relationships and pursuing passions that give true purpose to our earthly journey. Understanding the fleeting nature of life propels us to invest our time and energy in experiences that truly matter, promoting personal enrichment and a deeper purpose in our daily choices, transcending the mere pursuit of tangible achievements. Finding happiness in what one possesses is timeless wisdom, echoing through the centuries and gaining prominence in the words of Epicurus, who proclaimed that a truly rich man is one who is content with what he has. This perspective not only underscores the importance of appreciating present blessings, but also highlights the valuable practice of focusing on what is already present instead of concentrating on what is lacking. Cultivating gratitude for the current wealth, whether material or emotional, establishes a solid foundation for a fulfilling and satisfactory life by prompting us to recognize and value the precious contributions that are already part of our daily existence. Humility, as emphasized by Socrates when he declared, I know that I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing, plays a crucial role in the process of continuous learning and personal development. Adopting a humble stance means not only accepting, but embracing the limitation of one's own knowledge, being open to new information and perspectives. This acknowledgement of ignorance should not be viewed as a weakness, but rather as the essential first step toward expanding understanding and personal enhancement. By admitting our lack of knowledge, we are more apt to constantly seek learning, question, 
explore new ideas, and foster a mental environment conducive to intellectual and spiritual growth. Therefore, by integrating these philosophical principles into our journey, we not only value what we already possess, but also open the doors to constant self-discovery and development. The combination of gratitude for present wealth with humility in the face of the vast universe of knowledge available creates a unique synergy, providing a balanced and enriching approach to the pursuit of happiness and self-improvement. Avoiding the unproductive cycle of blame and scapegoats is a valuable guidance that transcends the ages. Epicurus's wise assertion, proclaiming that it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters, emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our responses instead of seeking external blame. This approach not only redirects focus to constructive solutions, but also strengthens the ability to effectively cope with life's challenges. By adopting this mindset, we not only break free from the cycle of blame, but also empower ourselves to grow from experiences, turning obstacles into opportunities for learning and personal development. The influence of the social environment emerges as another crucial aspect in the pursuit of a more positive life. As wisely summarized by Jim Rohn, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This statement underscores the significant influence that people around us have on our perspective and attitude. Intentionally choosing to surround oneself with positive and inspiring individuals is not only a personal decision, but a fundamental strategy to shape a social circle that supports personal growth and emotional well-being. Companions who uplift and motivate contribute to creating an environment that nurtures individual development, promoting a more optimistic approach to challenges and encouraging the achievement of higher goals. Thus, the pursuit of a more fulfilling and satisfying life is not confined solely to individual actions but also encompasses awareness and care for the social environment in which we are immersed. By adopting a proactive stance toward personal responsibility and carefully selecting influences around us, we are charting a path that not only promotes our individual well-being, but also contributes to the creation of a community that values growth, positivity, and collective achievement. Your reactions play a fundamental role in shaping your destiny, a wisdom underscored by Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, who sagaciously pondered that how you respond to situations has a more significant impact on your life than the circumstances themselves. This profound reflection highlights the premise that, even in the face of adversity, the power to choose responses that reflect your character is a valuable tool in shaping your destiny. The renowned phrase, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice, thus underscores the importance of cultivating responses that transcend mere emotional impulses, promoting a constructive and ethical approach to challenges. In addition to choosing responses aligned with your character, fulfilling duties emerges as an essential pillar for a meaningful life, echoing once again the words of Marcus Aurelius, who urges to make every act of your life as if it were your last. This perspective emphasizes the importance of approaching each task and responsibility with diligence and integrity, recognizing that true fulfillment is intrinsically linked to the conscientious fulfillment of our obligations. Fulfilling duties not only confers a sense of purpose, but also contributes to a profound feeling of accomplishment and personal satisfaction. By taking on our responsibilities with dedication, we are not just completing tasks, but building a solid foundation for our emotional well-being and the attainment of a truly meaningful life. Therefore, by incorporating these principles into life's journey, we not only become architects of our destiny through conscious responses, but also establish the groundwork for a fulfilling existence by diligently and with integrity fulfilling duties. These are essential pillars that not only contribute to our personal flourishing, but also positively influence the surroundings, creating a lasting and inspiring impact on the lives of those around us. Regarding criticism, Theodore Roosevelt offered a valuable perspective by stating that it is not the critic who counts, Credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena. This reflection underscores the importance of directing attention to action and constructive endeavors rather than excessively worrying about external criticism. The energy invested in personal and constructive goals is more effective than that consumed by concerns about others' opinions. The resilient attitude of staying committed to your path, regardless of opposing voices, is a hallmark of true determination and self-confidence, thus building a solid foundation to face challenges and achieve goals. 
Furthermore, the approach of diligently fulfilling duties, as highlighted by Marcus Aurelius, adds another crucial dimension to a meaningful life. The motto of making every act of your life as if it were your last underscores the importance of approaching daily responsibilities with diligence and integrity. Fulfilling duties is not just a matter of completing tasks, but of creating a sense of purpose and contributing to a deep feeling of personal fulfillment. In summary, your choices in response to adversity, the diligent fulfillment of duties, and the ability to ignore unproductive criticism are key elements in building a meaningful and successful life. By adopting these principles, you not only shape your own destiny, but also create a legacy of integrity, purpose, and resilience. This approach not only positively influences your own journey, but also inspires those around you to follow a similar path of authenticity and fulfillment. Prioritizing simplicity, as advised by Henry David Thoreau with the famous expression, simplify, simplify, is a principle that resonates throughout time. The pursuit of a simple life is more than an aesthetic choice. It is a philosophy that recognizes that reducing life's complexities creates space for what truly matters. By minimizing excess and simplifying, you not only reduce stress, but also open up room to appreciate the simple joys of everyday life. Controlling your reactions to others is a powerful skill highlighted by Epicurus in his teachings. He taught that no one can harm you unless you allow it. Safeguarding your emotional well-being involves not letting the actions of others dictate your mood. By maintaining control over how you respond to interactions, you strengthen your emotional resilience and preserve a sense of inner peace regardless of external circumstances. Valuing friendship above wealth, as emphasized by Aristotle in stating that friendship is a single soul dwelling in two bodies, is an important reminder of the significance of genuine relationships. Investing in true friendships, those that promote mutual growth and offer unconditional support, can bring emotional wealth that transcends material possessions. Finding the positive in every situation is an attitude brilliantly emphasized by Winston Churchill. His observation that a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty, underscores the importance of adopting a positive mindset. By seeking the silver lining in challenges, we turn obstacles into opportunities for personal growth. This optimistic perspective not only makes tough times more manageable, but also creates fertile ground for ongoing development. In summary, embracing simplicity, controlling reactions, valuing genuine friendships, and cultivating a positive mindset are principles that, when incorporated into daily life, can significantly enrich the personal journey and contribute to a more fulfilling existence. Worrying only about what is under your control is a wise principle that echoes in the teachings of Epicurus, as he wisely observed, some things are within our control, and some are not. This Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of directing energy and attention to what we can influence, letting go of what is beyond our sphere of control. This approach not only reduces stress, but also promotes a problem-solving focused mindset. The daily practice of gratitude is a powerful habit that can significantly transform one's perspective on life. Instead of focusing on what is lacking, cultivating gratitude involves consciously appreciating what you already have. This shift in perspective not only creates an immediate sense of peace and contentment, but also contributes to a more positive and balanced long-term mental state. Accepting change as a constant is a valuable life lesson. Resistance to change often leads to frustration and disappointment, while embracing this reality as a natural part of existence allows for growth and new experiences. Acceptance of change does not imply passivity, but rather the ability to adapt flexibly to constantly evolving circumstances. These stoic principles are not just philosophical theories, but practical guides for dealing with the ups and downs of life. Incorporating them into daily life not only strengthens resilience, but also promotes a greater understanding of how to respond to the various situations that life presents. If these reflections resonate with you, share your thoughts in the comments below creating a space for the exchange of ideas and mutual enrichment. Keep exploring similar wisdom to enhance your personal journey and share these valuable lessons with those around you.